Trishko, uh, would you please get the blackboard for us? Uh, yes, that's right, the blackboard. Yeah, now, that's right. Well, good evening, uh, students. Um, you know, at this time, we'd normally be collecting the assignments, and I hope you all worked hard on them. <coughs> However, um, there's a little wrinkle tonight. Thank you, Trishka. More than a wrinkle, in fact, because tonight we have Dr. Asterdam with us, one of the great physical minds of our time. Uh, you've all read Dr. Asterdam's work, I'm sure, uh, his uh, groundbreaking um, investigations into the micro and macro structures of space and time. He has won at least 14 Nobel Prizes, I think, in 12 years. Uh, that's, a, that's a joke. Uh, and I've, I've, I've had the privilege of, of collaborating with him <coughs> from time to time. Um, tonight's seminar will be dealing specifically with the, uh, the Asterdam Theorem. And uh, I sure hope you have read it, uh, because we do have the horse's mouth here. And uh, it'll give you an opportunity to ask some, uh, some darn intelligent, and I hope particularly pertinent, uh, questions. If a spacecraft were to be uh, falling towards a black hole, and you, the observer, were stationed at a safe distance from that hole, what, what, what happened? Well, due to the relativistic... Uh, as you know, I got an assignment from uh, good, better, best homes and garbage. Excuse me. Uh, this is a physics lecture. Yes. Uh, just, could, could, would you like to sit in the stands or perhaps just, just wait outside? Well, I'm on assignment from well, good, better, best homes uh, and garbage. better, best go home because we're, we're in the middle of a lecture. I'd just like to get one Just please leave. just wanted to get one photograph. Thank you. How's the foot, Jer? 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 How's the foot? Good. Have you ever seen such a bunch of... <laughs> <laughs> and as they accelerate towards the center of the black hole, the singularity, they eventually will be squeezed out of existence in this universe. <clears throat> now, Outside, at a safe distance, you, the observers, will see something quite different. As the spacecraft approaches the black hole, its acceleration will seem to be reversed. <clears throat> it will actually, it will slow down un until right at the event horizon, it will seem to freeze. Right at the event horizon. And there, it will remain <clears throat> for all time. Now, now let me describe this to you in <clears throat> strictly mathematical terms. And I'd like you to write... As you know... The matrix of C to the 20th power of D coiled through the space-time curve hydrodynamically, Newtonianly bifactored through quantum theory. That's, that's to be general. I'm, I could have been more specific in that. X plus 7 minus T1 to the square cube root of the binomial factor of the past equation. <laughs> Professor Asterdam. Well, you got the goddamn guy here. Why don't you ask him a question? I mean, Dr. Asterdam's here. Why don't you ask him a question? Dr. Asterdam. Is it back uh, well, a few years ago when uh, Dr. Asterdam, uh, I used to call him uh, Jerry. Uh, I hope he doesn't mind. I'm sure he won't. Um, when Dr. Asterdam and I were uh, working together, uh, editing his great work, and as a matter of fact, I didn't that work. I think we had uh, uh, a single solid sailed on in 1965. Remember when you came around the Cape of Good Hope and you were doing that, um, that benefit with, um, with the doctor, uh, what was his name, uh, Franz Binkheimer? Was it Franz Binkheimer? No, it was, uh, it was Horschmeinger. No, it, it, it was, uh, um, how's the foot, Jer? 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 
<laughs> many people, many scientists who did not share the positions of uh, Dr. Amsterdam and myself have asked that same question. But you see, it only illustrates the narrow mindedness. Mindedness. <coughs> Excuse me, I get upset. I, my words just go. It merely illustrates the narrow mindedness. 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 Yes. <coughs> of their perspective. And the years that we have set up late at night, and I have brought him coffee to keep him going because we believe that his work is so important. Tucking him into bed at four in the morning and going to proofread till eight the next evening. We have only, my dear friend, only because we know that what we have discovered is the one truth, the one truth, that means anything in this universe. And the great tragedy is that we can never escape our coordinate system to communicate with the other coordinate systems. And until that is accepted and known, we are just to coin it. Pissing in the dark. 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 Pissing in the dark.